What's going on, YouTube? This is Ribo at the bench, and uh, I'm sorry, I'm not at the bench today. Clearly, I'm at the kitchen table, um, so I'm indoors today. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, want to do a head-to-head -head between these two knives, two bench maids. Uh, so this is a Benchmade 940 G10 version with uh, the fold-over clip, not the stock clip. And then this is a Benchmade bug out with the fold over stock clip. Um, so both of these are, wow, man, I'm really terrible with the deploys on camera. Um, both of these are in S30V. Uh, both of these are Benchmades and both of these are great knives. So I thought I would do a head to head. All right, uh, categories. Uh, so categories, pocket clip, scales, overall size, considering how does it carry, height, weight, width, all that stuff. Um, ergonomics, action, blade, steel, lock system, and the intangibles. All right, so uh, of these two knives, uh, we'll start with pocket clip. Um, so the pocket clip on both of these that I have uh, in front of you is fairly similar, but I'm gonna try to rate these as if I had the stock uh, 940 clip, uh, and that would give the advantage to uh, the bug out here. Um, so the 940 uh, regular clip is not fold over, not deep carry. Um, you can contact Benchmade to get them to give you this clip for free, I believe. They may be putting them on production models now, but I think you still have to contact them. Um, it's an excellent clip. I highly recommend it. But stock clip versus stock clip, this one is the clear winner. I was skeptical of this clip when I first got it because it's so small. But man, has it blown me away. This is an excellent, excellent clip. It does everything you needed to do in a very small package. Uh, fold over, deep carry, and very, very short. Um, I have a, you know, I'm, I'm t I tend to be skeptical of short little clips like this because uh, I've seen where they don't work very well. This one works very well. It's awesome. Uh, really, really like it. So uh, pocket clip advantage goes to the bug out. All right, scales. So you have G10 versus this, uh, you know, plastic, some kind of reinforced nylon, whatever material you want to call this. Um, this is similar to the Griptilians in terms of the texturing, uh, where they've put texturing back here, but not up here where you're grabbing at the access lock, which I think is a, a really nice detail. Um, but you have something that's, you know, not a huge. Uh, not very flashy. It's it's kind of your basic um, scales, uh, although I think they're very nicely done. And then you have G10 here, which to me looks beautiful. I think it, it functions very well. You can get these in aluminum as well. Um, the problem for me is that these have absolutely no grip to them. While they have some good contouring that I think helps um, when you're grabbing onto the knife, they are super, super slick. There's almost no texture. There is some uh, but there is very, very little texture, uh, which was probably the most disappointing thing to me about purchasing the 940 and the G10. Um, so while I think that the G10 is clearly a nicer material, uh, my advantage is going to go to the bug outs kind of plasticky nylon, whatever. Um, I, you know, I, I, I kind of lump all these in the same category between companies, but, um, this has really nice texturing. It's super lightweight. I grip onto it fairly well, and I think it's really nicely done. So while I think this is probably objectively better, this is my favorite. And that's what this is about. Um, overall size. So let's, uh, let's manage to bring in the scale over here, do some size checks. Both of these are very lightweight knives for what you're getting. So the 940, 2.7 ounces, and the bug out at 1.9. Good gracious, 1.9. Um, and for that size, or for that weight, let's do some checks to see what you're getting. Um, so sharpened blade length on the bug out is roughly three inches on the 940, 3.3 inches. Closed in the pocket, uh, the 940 is going to be a little bit bigger at 4.3 versus 4.2. And thickness on the 940 is 0.44. And on the bug out, 0.4. So the bug out is smaller in every way. And where do I have these right here? Uh, the bug out is smaller in every way and gives you a sharpened blade length that is about a third of an inch shorter. One second drop something off the table. Um, so uh, for me, there's no contest. Again, bug out all the way. Two ounce knife, are you kidding me? For three inches of blade length? Uh, man, 
it's incredible. Super thin. I know a lot of people complain about, you know, being able to do that. I really don't care. I don't, I don't know when that would be an issue. Uh, yeah, overall size for me, bug out all the way. This does carry very well, but the bug out carries really well, uh, you know, also. Um, this is going to be a little bit slimmer up against the pocket, but you will notice it a tiny little bit more. Really, you're, I'm quabbling over, quibbling, quabbling, I don't know, quibbling, quibbling um, over insignificant details because you're talking about less than one ounce difference between the two. Um, ergonomics. Uh, so both of these are fairly similar in that they kind of force your hand a little bit behind the blade. The ergonomics are very good. There's some good um, jimping up here, and I think that's really, really nice. The bug out um, also has good jimping, um, forces your hand back a little bit. There's plenty of room on the um, handle. Here's where I would give the first advantage to the 940, and that's really just because of the, the thickness uh, between the two. You have more contouring, more shaping, and, and just fills the palm a little bit better um, on the uh, the 940. The bug out, you know, you're getting that two ounce thing. You're getting super, super lightweight scales, and they're very, very thin, and so you do feel a difference there. I still think it's very comfortable. I don't really have any hot spots, um, but uh, I think that objectively and subjectively, this one this one feels better. Uh, what's up next? The action or detent? So, I mean, honestly, both of these are access locks. Um, both of these feel about the same to me. If I can actually deploy these on camera, super, super smooth. Let me see, drop shutty. Yep. And deploy this. Um, I'll go ahead and give a slight advantage to the 940. And it's really just because I think due to the handle material here, this feels a little bit nicer lock up. Um, this one feels a little bit plasticky. Um, this one uh, feels a little more solid, maybe. That's a really, really nitpicky kind of thing to do. Let me try it again. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, this one I think feels really well when you open it slowly. Locks up very, very softly. Honestly, that's probably not a fair thing to give the advantage to the 940, but I'll give it a slight advantage because I don't anticipate it having many more uh, coming. Uh, blade, so this is a, you know, if you watch my channel, you, you know by looking at this blade that this is gonna be something I like. Um, so you have uh, practically a, a flat grind there, really wide blade with a nice swedge up top. Um, and you know, that's my kind of blade. This, this classic drop point is my kind of thing. Um, that's why I like the K bar Dozier. That's why I like a lot of different knives. This is definitely one of them. Um, and then the, uh, 940 is, is still a good blade, but it's a little bit too thin, too long for me. Um, I much prefer something a little bit thicker like this. Uh, steel, both an S30V, I'm not going to compare those, so we'll call that a tie. Uh, lock system, so both of these axis locks, uh, sliding bar, and I've already given Benchmade the slight, slight action uh, advantage, so I'm not going to compare those either. So that leaves us with the intangibles. Uh, intangibles is not a hard category for me with these two knives. So the 940 was my first bench made. No, I'm sorry. It was my first bench made that I kept, uh, first bench made that I really liked. Uh, and then I got the bug out and the bug out kicked lots of knives out of my collection. The bug out kicked this guy out, the bug out kicked, um, I can't even think of all the, all the different knives, but I am a huge bug out fan. Um, I kind of delayed getting this knife for a long time. I should not have. Uh, I absolutely love this knife. You can call me a Benchmade boy now, I guess. Um, but, um, you know, I'll take the heat. This is a fantastic knife. This may be my favorite knife of all time. I think it's a fantastic value if you can get it at about 100 bucks, 125 bucks. It is just fantastic in every way. It gets in the pocket all the time. I am a huge, huge fan. 940, still a good knife, but for me, uh, there, there's just absolutely no contest between the two. Um, the, uh, the bug out will not be going anywhere. Uh, the 940 may be on the chopping block. Still a great knife, um, but uh, in comparison, uh, man, I love the bug out. All right, I uh, hope you've enjoyed the head-to-head, -head, and I'll see you next time.